Namaste and blessings. How are you guys? Welcome to my channel, Wisdom of the Divine Feminine. My name is Nela Maat, and I feel truly grateful to be here. Before we start to channel messages, I would like to create sacred space with the intentions that all of us allow ourselves to feel seen, loved, and validate it. And so we begin. So how are you guys? What's going on? As I am recording, um, we are experiencing the energies of the uh, Piscean New Moon. And I've been receiving messages already for us to share here. And one of the message is that you, my love, are closing a cycle. You, my love, listen to me. If you are coming across this channeling messages, you are closing a very long and painful cycle. And this is related to, I'm hearing for some of you, as we are many, right? For some of you, you are closing a, a long cycle with um, experiencing self-doubt, okay? And so what I'm seeing right now is the number 333, and it seems to me that you guys are manifesting balance, Balance within your mental, emotional, and physical body. I'm hearing harmony and balance. I'm hearing expect changes, expect things to move in a positive direction. Okay? For some of the other of you, sorry, what I'm hearing is that you are finally removing a person from your energy, okay? And so it seems to me that you have experienced a breakup, all right? It's kind of divorce. This can be just separation or, you know, I don't know your life. I don't know what's up. But you have finally released a person from your energy, okay? <laughs> yes. So I'm going to start getting um, the cards, and then we will channel. Uh, what else, Spirit? For some other of you, you are closing a cycle of of self-shaming. So this is related to self-love and self-worth. I feel that for this group, you guys have been healing your relationship with self-worth. Like you are finally seeing your value. You are finally releasing the idea of, you know, body perfection or like seeing yourself as your physical body okay i feel that you are opening yourself into a beautiful energy and seeing lots of pink and i'm just staring at the roses i bought and like this is just like you are reconnecting with your divine feminine and so that's what we got for now Got the eight of cups, you guys. Okay. And with this energy, we are saying goodbye and thank you. Goodbye to everything that is no longer in alignment with our highest good and the highest good of the, of the old. This is all saying Goodbye to people, situations that are no longer in alignment with us. This is all saying, you know what? Anything that is not fulfilling me, 
needs to be let go and we are okay with that and we are walking away with grace and deep faith, trusting and, and that inner knowing. I'm hearing, listening to the calling of your higher self. And with this frequency, we say, I'm ready for something new and I'm going to take a leap of faith. There's this energy of I'm ready to find answers. I'm ready to experience a new reality. I'm ready to go build somewhere else, to start again. I am ready for a change. I'm excited, and I just don't feel like looking back at my past anymore. As a victim, I'm walking away with the higher understanding that everything that I have experienced, that every lesson and every person and every situation has served my highest good. One way or another, everything, right, that we experience, it is it's leading us into the direction of our heart. If you are here and you are in alignment with me, you have been walking away and you are and you will continue to walk away from anything that is no longer serving your highest good. Because you can feel that the calling of your higher self, of your ancestors, of the divine mother of Gaia is so strong that you cannot, you cannot stay where you were before. You know you're being called. Well done. You're listening to your heart. And I know that it is difficult and it's been difficult and we're still moving through, you know, emotions. And even though when we manifest new beginnings, we are also experiencing endings at the same time. And so transitioning is ups and downs. And, and, and you know, some days you feel like sunny and everything is just like, excited and then at other times you're like oh wow well um my life is not the same and so you're being asked to allow the process to allow any residue of emotions any any memories to just move through you without you having to attach your, yourself to the emotions and to create stories. I feel like at this point, if you have been doing the work, you do understand that, you know, we have to continue on finding harmony and balance within, yeah? There gonna be, there's going to be new tests. There's going to be new challenges. It's just life. But just trust that you got everything within you. Yes. That will help you move forward. And know that you are never, ever alone. All you have to do is ask. Please, Mother, Father, Divine Source Creator, ask your guys, your angels, you know, please just... Help me out with this situation and then be open to listen to your intuition. We had the hero friend. I'm receiving a message from the ancestors saying thank you. Thank you for doing the work. Thank you for choosing love over fear. Thank you for helping us and the many other generations break free. 
Thank you for leaving us an example, for showing others that it's okay to change, to evolve, to let go, to move, that it is okay to release ourselves from the chains of suffering and sometimes very rooted beliefs that at the end of the day, they are no longer at service for the highest good. Because maybe they were serving before, but we have evolved and, you know, we will continue. And so sometimes we just have to ask ourselves, you know, about ritual, traditions, any belief systems, right? Is this in alignment with me? Is this serving me? Is this story that I had been listening for years and years in my, you know, that had been running in my family? Is this something that I want to continue to carry? How is that serving me? And so I feel that there is the presence of the ancestors saying, thank you. Also with the Hierophant, I wanna say that, you know, you are someone who holds a lot, a lot of wisdom, deep wisdom within you. This, I'm hearing Sagittarius too, Sagittarius, and I feel that, you know, you are a true seeker. And so you have to hear the calling of your soul and also, you have a need for adventure. You are hungry for truth. And you are here to break free. You are here to be different. To break traditions. You are here to create new ones. Yeah, by honoring the old ones. You are here to do things with lots of grace. I'm seeing the swamp. The swans, yeah, two swans. I'm hearing Goddess Saraswati. Do things with grace. The ancestors see you. They love you. They believe in you. Oh, they recognize you. And they are also guiding you on this new adventure. Because... I feel that you are on a, a place in this journey, right, where you're like, I don't know where I'm going, but I'm just riding that horse, and you know what, right? I'm just making all the changes. I don't have clarity of vision, but I know that I can trust that I'm always guided. I feel like the ancestors want you to know, you know, they see your efforts, and they, this is how they see you. They see you and honor your successes. Sometimes we have these very grandiose ideas of success when in reality, healing something like self-doubt, healing something like the relationship with our bodies, like healing relationship with people, right? Like healing our relationship within ourselves, with nature. That's bigger than anything. And so the ancestors are saying, you know, we see you, we recognize you, we walk right next to you. Also, this is where you're going. This is the energy where you at. Some of you, maybe you're there already where you already find your worth and you, you see your value and you, or you're starting to see it right now, right? You're starting to see it. Oof. Sorry, like I mispronounce words, you know. I mean, obviously, English is my second language, but when I am channeling, it's so, I'm like, oh, it's lots of energy that I have to like ground and translate. And it's just, <laughs> it is the whole thing, you guys. And so bear with me here, okay? We have the six of cups. You are manifesting your soul tribe. You are calling in. For some of you, I'm hearing a divine guided relationship. Ooh, my throat chakra is itchy. <coughs> For some of you, you are calling in, you know, your your divine family, your 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 family. Yeah. For some of you. You are also, right, coming into this beautiful union 
with your with your inner child, with the many aspects of yourself. This is like how I'm seeing it here with the cops. It's like the many aspects of you are are evolving and harvesting. And I have to say that that you are ready to manifest new relationships with positive oriented and heartfelt foundations you know with truth and honesty and sincerity and fun and like-minded and so open yourself up to walk away from this energy i feel like you have been or you might be still right some of some of us we still are closing cycles because we're closing so many but i feel that Yes, that you are, oh my goodness, and we had the double here. Yeah, like, you are, like, tired of this, you know, conflicts and, like, unhealthy competition and calling in people, you know, karmic, karmic, karmic people. But they, they have been serving our highest good. We have to honor that they are contracts because there's something that we have to see about ourselves. We have to integrate the lessons, the aspects. We have to call them into love. We have to do the process of transmutation, of purification. This is when we decide, you know what, I'm no longer separated from others. I understand that what exists in them exists within me. And because I had been there, I can now find forgiveness and be kind. And, you know, yes, I can draw a boundary. Sometimes I might have to walk away and, and, and you know, and say goodbye. But I'm going to do it with grace. I'm going to do it with love. I'm not going to be leaving these relationships or, or, or you know, with, with holding a grudge. And so, yeah, I feel like you're calling in a beautiful new beginning where you're going to be connecting with people and very differently. Very differently. Yes, with the Page of Cups here, there's, a, there's new energy here for you. The divine is offering you also or about to offer you new ideas, new solutions, be comfortable with learning new things. There's no need to rush, you know. Honor the process of becoming, of transitioning. Allow yourself and allow things to unfold. Move with ease. The night of swords. The Knight of Swords, what do you want to tell me, Knights of Swords? It's not a knight, it's the King of Swords. So you are moving from being the Knight of Swords into the King of Swords. You are healing your decision making. You are learning to speak your truth. You are learning to take accountability, or you are, or you have been doing more of this. You have been maturing a lot when it comes to not allowing thoughts to take you out of your path, to stop you from taking actions and doing things that maybe before you were not you would not even try yeah you are also learning to collaborate with others to you know respect what others are their position their cultural you know their differences perspectives opinions and so there is this beautiful energy of like grounding emotional maturity and maturity Maturity in, in how we relate to others. Yeah. Well done with the King of Pentacles. Now we have all these kings. We're talking about self-mastery. And you taking 
action, healing the masculine, healing your masculine energy, right? We can also see it. <laughs> we have the card of celebrations. Yeah, we can also see it, right? That before maybe you were someone who will be just talking about doing things and will not go and, and ground the freaking pentacles. But now you are like, I'm thinking about it. My thoughts and my actions are in alignment. And because of that, you know what's happening? The king of pentacles. You are grounding your pentacles. You are grounding, grounding, yeah. Grounding your thoughts and your actions. And so that's causing that the universe is going to it's going to show up. It's going to manifest. It's going to say, all right, well, this person is ready. It's serious about it. So I'm hearing moving away from indecision. That's why I saw the night of swords. Because the night of swords can be impulsive and indecisive. And it's just like it just um, the, the swords, the, the mental body takes over. And there's no balance within the heart and the logical mind, right? So the Knight of Swords can be also very rigid, severity, right? Very like, this is my way and this is how it is. So like a lot of like the wounded masculine. Oh, yes, yes, yes. You are healing from, you know, allowing your mind and all the thought forms to create deception. You're healing how you see yourself, how you see the world. You are opening yourself. I'm seeing a door that is just being opened. You are seeing the world differently. And it's crazy because I can, when I look at the door, I don't see anything but space. But that space means that it's all open for possibilities. That's the beauty, right? <laughs> it's like if you move to a new house and like, pretty much empty, you have the opportunity to build again and to buy new things and maybe different, right? Than just coming and moving in into a place where the same things that are packed with memories and energetic stuff. And so it's just all perspective. It's all perception and perspective. The stories we tell ourselves about situations and things. So I feel that that's something that I want you to think about it. Be very mindful of the script you're writing to situations, to people. What are the stories you are telling yourself? Because as you know, you are a powerful manifester. And you are realizing that. You are realizing that. And if not yet, if you have not yet manifest this timeline shift or this paradigm shift, because this is what I have to call this, just wait because it's about to click. It's about to happen. It's, it's just like, boom, the tower. That's what I'm feeling. <laughs> I'm feeling the tower, the tower. Ah, we got the sun. Here comes the sun. Healing from all of these self-limiting beliefs. I'm feeling trapped. I am a victim. My emotions take over. I go into procrastination. I cannot take action. I'm blaming people. And just water, water, water. Woo, 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 woo. Healing this lack mentality. Feeling left out unless then. You know, I need to be perfect. Nobody cares. Healing all those freaking stories. You are because here comes the sun, little darling. And this is you riding the white horse, meaning purification of you in the many aspects of yourself. This is you choosing to see life as, you know what? With the energy and frequency of wonder and curiosity, childlike, right? This is you following the sun. Follow, follow the sun. Yes, yes. We have the emperor, the page of pentacles, the lovers, and the queen of swords. You have been, you have been making choices and decisions, right? That are leading you, 
leading you soaring towards the sun. This is you becoming the leader of your life, living as an example for yourself and others. With the Page of Pentacles here, you're going to have many ideas. As long as steady wins the race. I'm hearing healthy competition. You are going to be giving many opportunities. You have a lot of doors that are currently opening, but you just have to allow things to unfold. You already know that, you know, the wounded masculine will be unhealthy competition, jealousy, envy, manipulation, control, rigidity, right? And so with the queen of swords here, you know, I feel like you know yourself very well at this point that you're receiving this message and you're being called to stay there in that energy where you call, call yourself out. Allow any emotions to move. <laughs> we have the fool here. I didn't see it. Excuse me. Allow any emotions to move through you. Allow things to unfold. Keep on sharing your gifts and talents. Nurture yourself. Nurture your dreams. Communicate clearly. Allow yourself to receive from others. Ask for help if you need it. Don't be afraid to invest in your dreams and your goals. Continue to walk away from unhealthy situations, people. Be the observer of your ego. Love yourself and trust that this new pardon shift is here and things are about to change for you. Everything is positive. And so I'm feeling guided to just leave it there. It's being beautiful. It's such an honor to channel for you guys. The ancestors honor you. I can feel it that they want you to know that they walk right next to you. That your past loved ones are safe and they love you and they are also cheering up for you to say thank you. The mother, the divine feminine says thank you. Connect with Gaia and please, please practice gratitude. Okay. Stand up for the animals and all sentient beings. Speak up for the children. Thank you, guys. Please don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment. Let me know if this resonated. All right? I love you guys. Peace and love. Namaste and blessings.